Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video for you, our school community. Another really good week in school, with lots of learning taking place, as well as lots of fun activities, including our wow days. Um, this week's video includes information about our upcoming uh, Superhero Day, put together by People Parliament, a request of theirs um, from one of their meetings, um, and a really great idea, promoting our Healthy Habit Heroes theme as our news resolution. Take a look at that slide, it's a dressing update, if you would wish to and also a special menu that's the 3rd of May details are in these slides again um, just some information for you about upcoming dates important dates assessment dates and also things like uh, sports festivals etc have a great weekend the sun is due to shine and it's due to get a little bit warmer have a lovely weekend as always you know where we are see you soon as we start a new term, we also welcome two new faces to the Wren's Nest family. This is Mrs Eaton, who will be joining us as a teacher in year six and year five, and she will be working with our Upper Key Stage 2 children, so big welcome to her. And also, some of you have already met her, Miss Bridge, who also joins us, and she will be working with Pumas and Shooting Stars. So a big welcome to these new faces, and I am sure you will give them the biggest welcome that they deserve. We are also welcoming to the team Mrs Spicer. Now Mrs Spicer is working in school but her new home will be a part of our admin team. These are people that help us to run the school day to day and you'll usually see them in the front office. So or to all of our parents and our children please help me in making Mrs Spicer really welcome here at Wren's Nest as she becomes a new member of the team. School is closed for voting day, which is the Thursday, the 2nd of May. School is being used as a polling station. School is open to all of our Year 6 children from 10am to 12 noon in preparation for their upcoming SATs test. Um, but school is closed for all children from time for 2 to Year 5. Uh, please see the school website for remote education opportunities. But we are back open as normal on Friday, the 3rd of May, 8.20 for Breakfast Club and 8.40 for normal school time time. Parents and families of year six children, we will be sending a letter out to you soon detailing um, everything you'll need to know about this day and the morning your children are expected to be in school. Although school will be open as normal on the 3rd of May, it's a very different day here at Wren's Nest. Pupil Parliament meet every week, as you know, and often they discuss ideas that they have um, for introducing new things to our school. One of their ideas has been a superhero day, and this is in line with our Healthy Habit Hero New Year's resolution for 2024. The day will be filled full of lots of wonderful things looking at how we can create healthy habits, links to our Healthy Habit um, New Year's resolution, as well as creating our own superhero costume in school. Your children can come either dressed as a superhero, come with superhero accessories such as a mask or a cape or just if they want to come in their own clothes they are welcome to because during the day we will create a costume. It's a lovely day in school where we can focus on something important, something important in the eyes of our children and also have a day where we have a menu fit for heroes. Take a look at this slide and of course if you need any other information please don't hesitate to contact us. Just some advance notice for you. Um, the bank holiday is fast approaching as we move into the month of May. Monday the 1st of May, school is closed to both children and staff um, to acknowledge the bank holiday. Um, but we are open as normal on 8.40 on the Tuesday the 2nd of May or 20 past 8 for our early birds breakfast club. Thank you again for all of your feedback following our family survey that took place in March. Um, you will have seen that we have issued a You Said We Did publication for you as our families. And this is just our response to your feedback. The feedback was overwhelming, as I've said in previous videos. But take a look at the link on the website. And this is just a bit of a reminder for you. But take a look at the link on the website um, to view this document, as well as it has been sent out via Parent Hub. But again, thank you very much for your feedback. It is well and truly um, deserved and listened to by us as a school. 
The next two slides have got some upcoming dates for the summer term. Um, dates around checks uh, that are happening in school. This includes our year six uh, SATs tests for the top end of Key Stage 2 as they leave us. Um, your children must uh, take part in these and must be in school. Um, and then you can see some other dates for you um, around school holidays, voting day and also half terms. Um, the following slide gives you some details about upcoming events in school, such as our sports festivals, um, special times for year six, including the year six performance to families, the lever service and their special beach party and a few other bits too. This is a particular message for our Year 6 children and your families. If you head over to our school website, um, you have got a very special section dedicated to you. It's SATS revision um, resources for you to have a look at. Um, just take a, a brief look if you'd like to. Some examples um, and some helpful guides of different um, tasks you can look at um, ahead of your SATS tests in a few weeks. Um, we're really pleased with the attendance of our SATS camps during the Easter holiday. So thank you to all of you that attended and prioritised education for your children. Um, this will just help um, as we approach this special time um, for your children in school. Head over to the website and have a look for this banner um, for more information. It's that time of year again, the start of a new term. It's our summer term uh, for this academic year. Don't forget to look at your child's year group knowledge organisers and termly curriculum video on the school website. They will give you the details you need about the coverage your children will be looking at this term um, for all the key subjects and the wider curriculum. So head over to the website, um, look out for your knowledge organisers um, and have a watch of the termly curriculum video. But as always, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of the staff. Here's just a little reminder of how you can contact us. The school office is open um, 8am till 5pm every weekday. Um, you might catch somebody before those times or after those times, but those are the, the times we are definitely open and the office is manned at those times. And of course, the school mobiles. Um, and just a reminder really of the school times. You can see them here. Um, just so you know, Breakfast Club is available to you. And there's a slide about that further on in the video this week again but just so you know um gates open at 8 40 um but registration starts at 10 to 9 and school lessons um start at nine o'clock when re registration begins also but early start act activities are linked to the curriculum and a valuable part of your child's learning Promoting good attendance is a key priority for us here at Wren's Nest. As we know, there is a direct link between good attendance and positive outcomes for a child at the end of their educational journey. As you know, we focus on capturing children being in school and we follow up when they aren't. This year, the governors and I have updated our attendance policy and in particular have made reference to any holidays you may take. Take a look in the policy, it is available online. We are asking that holidays are taken in um, holiday time that is planned for the school holidays and for any reason um any day holiday that you do take um it, it's tagged onto a school holiday um so the bulk of the holiday period is within a planned holiday um attendance needs to be good for the remainder of the time your child is at school um if you choose to do this this way it is something we are going to pay particular attention to this year and it's something that we're particularly focused on um, take a look at the policy and of course if you've got any questions don't hesitate to contact me or Tracy Cadman our attendance officer in school. We often say to the children that attendance is a, a life skill one that we carry right the way through our lives as we move from school into college, um, universities, jobs, future lives, appointments, anything that we carry out as an adult. Regular attendance for children means they make the most of their education in improving their life chances in adult life. And that's something that we feel is vital that we share with our children. That becomes an ingrained life skill for them. 
Here are the people who help and promote great attendance. If you ever do need any help or support, we are here to help. Um, sometimes we, we all need a little bit of help in the right direction on occasion. So please, if there's something that you can, we could help with and you feel we could help with, please contact one of us because it might just be by us helping, we can together, work together to improve your child's attendance. Don't forget, Breakfast Club is open to you. You are welcome. It's free of charge um, and it's a lovely way for your children to start their school day. 8.20 to 8.40 at our Early Birds Breakfast Door. Um, you're welcome to come in. Your children can play with their friends and have a great start to their school day. Keeping children safe, as you know, is our priority here at Wren's Nest. And this was also recognised during our Ofsted inspection in March 22, when it was commented on, the school is relentless in keeping children safe. We teach your children the importance of having trusted adults in our lives um, at home and at school. And we talk to them about who those people are in school. Um, our designated safeguarding lead is Mrs Smith. Um, Mrs Hannah Smith um, and then we've got Deputy uh, Designated Safeguarding Lead which is myself, um, Miss Harris, Mrs Cadman, Mrs Vivash and also Mrs Smith too. Um, but every adult at this school is a trusted adult um, that a child can go to should they need somebody to talk to, need any help um, and they're there for them. Um, if you've got any questions about this you know what I'm going to say. Please come and see us and have a chat with us about it. But this is part of us teaching your children how we stay safe, both in school and in the wider world. Remember, you can still send your class teacher an email with work you've done at home or any questions about your learning that you may have. Here are the email addresses for each of the year groups. Um, just another way you can communicate with us if you need to. As always, it's important to stay connected and the parent hub that we have for Wren's Nest, as well as our school website, are the first places to visit to get any up-to-date information. As you've heard me say before, please pass on any of this key information to anyone you know who doesn't have access to Parent Hub or the school website and pass on this information that can be crucial sometimes um, in giving parents up to date information. So if you are connected, please pass it on. Here are some of the key contact details for you in terms of how you can contact us as a school. We have two mobile telephones um, that are manned um, every day by our family support work, uh, working team. Um, that's available to you. We've got our main school telephone line and also also our email address. This is in addition to our year group email addresses. If you have got any questions, you want to let us know that your child's not in school um, because they're poorly, um, please telephone us or drop us a message um, to let us know why not. Um, any way you want to contact us, this is the way to do it um, and we're here to help. The door is always open for you. We really do value our families and all that they bring to Wren's Nest. However big or small your question, the door will always be open and we're always here for you. Take care.